There's a rare sign of bipartisanship on Capitol Hill. Senators from both sides of the aisle criticizing big tech over safety for kids on social media. I want to bring in Martha McCallum and just play for you quickly what Senator Josh Hawley said about this situation. Let's see. I just say as a parent, it would put me much more in the driver's seat if the law was you couldn't have a phone. I'm sorry, you couldn't get on social media till 16. I mean, that, it would help me as a parent. Yeah, because then you could say it's the law. You have to put your phone down. Drinking, driving. <laughs> All of it, right? If it's the law, it does give the parents an, an extra bolstered argument yeah. with their kids. Right now, there's some sort of rule, apparently, on, that these companies are supposed to be imposing that you have to be 13 to be on mm -hmm. social media. You know, I know, that doesn't happen, right? right? I mean, there are 10, 11 year old kids all over social media. And, and I think it feels like we're getting to this whole conversation much later than we should have. Yep. Um, there's so much damage that's already been done. But I do think that you're gonna see bipartisan support for this bill, and I certainly don't think that it can hurt. And it will bolster parents' ability to say to their kids no. But parents have to be the front line of defense on this. They have to be willing to say, I hear parents say, oh, well, you know, I don't wanna isolate my child from their friend. Get over it. Mm -hmm. Get over it. And don't give babies phones to play with. You are teaching them that this is something that they have a relationship with, that they're communicating with. Take phones away from babies and little kids and give them toys. We were just talking about mm -hmm. Percy playing, right? Yeah. <laughs> kids want to play with soft books, balls. Just the more we can keep them away from these things yeah. and the later we can do it, the more judgment they'll have when they finally get around to it. But it, parents have to be the front line. So do you think that Congress, they might go forward and try to do a law, but do you think that the market drivers will make the companies actually decide to do something on their own before that? They might, but you know what? This 13 to 16 age range is gold for advertisers. Uh, that's, okay. where you, that's where you get I mean, all the teenage girls tweens, to buy stuff. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so they're going to push back on this in a big way. They need to reach those little 13, 14, 15 year olds and get in their heads with all of these products. So I think this is going to be a battle with these companies, but I do think it's coming and I think it's one of the things that you are going to see bipartisan support for. You know, during COVID, kids doubled their time, their screen time. I know. This is another thing we should have understood was going to happen. When you lock down schools, you're going to send kids into their rooms in front of those screens and they're going to bond with those screens even more than they already have. So, you know, when you look at all the damage that COVID did, just chalk this up as another Another huge one. negative from COVID that we now have to try to break and unwind. What's coming up on the story today? So we're going to be talking to Governor Mike DeWine uh, okay. at the top of the show Good. about what's going on in Ohio, about, you know, you just did a great interview with the EPA mm -hmm. um, person. So we're going to have a piece of that, too, uh, to, to play for him, because this is uh, some, and again, feels like we're a little late, yep. several days late to helping these people and giving them clear indications we'll of be, what the It will be interesting to are. see if the governor will actually ask FEMA for more help. Sounds like they need it. It does sound okay. like We'll it. be watching 3 o'clock, top Thanks, of the show. Dana. All right, Always thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.